3.4 solves system of linear equations in three variables. So this comic is just cute. That's about it. A system of three linear equations in three variables is just going to be that we have three different equations of the form ax plus by. Now we'll have a plus cz equals D. Now this doesn't really matter, just a bunch of letters. You would have equations such as maybe 2x plus y minus z equals 5. But we're going to have, this is one of them, we're going to have three of the equations. You have three equations and you have three variables and then you'll be able to solve and get a solution that is an ordered triple x, y, z that satisfies all three equations. Remember in our system of equations with just two of them and an x and a y, our solution had to work in both equations. Now our solution has to work in all three equations. Again, if we have three variables to solve for, we must have three different equations. Now, here is the way this can be pictured. If you have three variables instead of two, you no longer are graphing just a line. Three variables put you in three-dimensional space, and when you graph that, you will get a plane. And there are many different ways that three planes can intersect. The first way you see, think of three pieces of paper that are put together as in picture number one. And this will intersect in exactly one point. Therefore, your solution will be one point in the form x, y, z. In the second picture, you can see that the planes are intersecting differently. And in this case, they intersect in one line. Well, when they intersect in a line, a line has an infinite number of points. Therefore, we call the solution infinitely many points or infinitely many solutions to this system. Okay, so when our solution is a line like here, since a line has infinitely many points on it, we have infinitely many solutions. Remember these three dots are therefore, therefore infinite number of solutions. Now, all three pictures on the bottom are ways that they could or could not intersect, but there is no common solution for all three equations here. Because in order to have our solution, we're saying where do all three, in this case, red, green, and blue, where do they intersect here? You'll see that we never have all three of the colors hitting each other at once. Right, and in the last, nothing hits anything. So, definitely no solution. Okay, now we are going to use the elimination method as we did with our two um, equation system. Now we have three, so what we're going to do is we're gonna take the first two equations and try to eliminate one of the variables. So when we do that, we're still gonna have two more left at the end, right? Yep. So let's just choose those two. In order to eliminate one, this has a four Y, so let's Multiply the top by 4. Does that sound good? Absolutely. So we get, what, 8x minus 4y plus 24z. And write the other one as is, right under it. And then add these together, thereby eliminating the y variable. Negative, what, 23. And now we found that we have an equation just in x and z. So if we could do the same thing with the last two equations, eliminate the y's, we would have another equation in x and z, and then we can do what we're used to, which is solve an equation with two variables. So let's take two different equations. One of them can overlap. One of them is going to have to overlap. We only have three total. And eliminate the same variable.
that we eliminated in step one. So we'll, in this case, take these two and let's again eliminate the y. So in order to do that, we have 4y here. We could multiply this by 2. So rewrite the first one. And then multiply that. And we get Okay. So now we have two equations and two variables. So we can put those together and eliminate one of the variables from those. So put equation from step one and two together and use elimination method like we used when we had our system of equations before. And then why don't we multiply this all by 7 so we can eliminate our axes. Then we have 54z is equal to 54, giving us z equals 1. Now let's take that z equals 1 and plug it into one of the equations that we have in x and z. So just saying, let's start with our 14x plus 19z equals negative 23. Mm -hmm. Use this equation here. Okay. okay, you could have chosen the other one. Doesn't matter because, again, the solution is going to work in all of them. We get 14x equals negative 42, giving us x equals negative 3. Okay. So now we've got two of the variables solved for. We only need the third. So let's go back to the, our original equations, which have all three, and pick one. Okay, let's just choose the top one. So we have 2x is negative 3 minus y plus 6z was 1 equals negative 4. Okay, so here we would have negative 6 minus y plus 6 equals negative 4. The negative 6 plus the 6 is 0, so we, so we have negative y equals negative 4. In other words, y equals 4. So our solution is going to be x, which is negative 3, y, which is 4, z, which is 1. So let's do that all over again in this one. Hopefully it'll be easier now. Let's take these top two equations and I'm just going to multiply my top by negative 3 so that I can eliminate. So let's see. We have negative 3x minus 3y plus 3z equals negative 6. Then we have 3x plus 3y minus 3z equals 8 add them up and we eliminate there, we eliminate there, and we eliminate there. We have 0 equals 2. When does 0 equal 2? Never ever. So we have no solution. So we don't even need to do anything for that problem. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it once more. So in this one, let's start with these two equations. Let's just add them up because the y's are going to cancel each other out. So I'm just going to rewrite it. Add them up. So we have 2x, the y's cancel out, plus 2z equals 12. I'm going to do the same thing with these two. Again, I want to eliminate the y's, but they are already going to eliminate without me even having to do anything. I'm liking this problem so far. So I have 5x plus 5z equals 30. 
And remember, again, you want to eliminate the first, the same variable in both the first two steps. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have these two equations. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply this one by 5. I'm going to multiply this one by negative 2 so that things will eliminate nicely. We have 10x plus 10z equals... 60, and then we have negative 10x minus 10z equals negative 60. In this one, we have 0 plus 0 equals 0. When does 0 equal 0? Always. Always. So that means we have infinitely many solutions. And we're not going to ask you to find the equation of the line at this point. Just infinitely many solutions is what you would say if you get an equation that's always true. Okay. So our last example says, You and your friend grab food on the way home for, from practice. You order three slices of pizza, four breadsticks, and two drinks, which cost $13.35. So why don't we give them variables already and so we won't get confused. Okay. So we could do X, Y, and Z, or what do you think? Okay, so X will be pizza, Y breadsticks, and Z drinks. Okay. Okay, now we could really write down what we're doing as we go. So, three slices of pizza, in other words, 3x, plus four breadsticks, 4y, plus two drinks, 2z, equals $13.35. Well, I costs. made a mistake. Oh. Do you see what my mistake is? Um, I said X was the number of pizzas, and it shouldn't have been the number of pizzas. It should have actually been the cost of the pizzas because I ordered three slices, and the cost should have been X so that I get a cost equation. Mm -hmm. So this should have actually been the cost of right. pizzas breadsticks and drinks so be a little bit more careful than I was that was a good mistake though I caught it okay and the next sentence we're told that three more friends join they order five slices of pizza so 5x two breadsticks or 2y and three drinks or 3z and that costs $19.50. Then it gives us one more piece of information. Now, we're going to have to think a little for this one. If four breadsticks, in other words, four Y, and a drink, plus Z, and it says these cost 30 cents more than a slice of pizza. So in order for them to equal, and what was a slice of pizza? The pizza is the X. So in order for it to be equal to the slice of pizza, this costs 30 cents more than this. So in order for them to balance out to be equal, we have two choices. We could put plus 30 on the right or minus 30 on the left. Right. We'll so we wanted, again, let's just do it one more time. If four breadsticks and a drink cost 30 cents more, so this side was 30 cents more. So I wanted to equate them, so I either had to add 30 to point 0.3 to this side or subtract point 0.3 to that side. Okay. You're trying to make an equation that balances. Okay. Before I even go on on this, I'm going to put this okay. in the x plus y plus z that I have all the other ones. So I'm going to do that as a first step. So that's my system, but I'm going to rewrite the first, the second, and then I'm going to scoot the x over to the other side on the third.
Okay, which um, variable do you want to eliminate for the first two? The y is nice. Okay, so if I choose the first two equations, I'm going to call this 1, 2, and 3 for a second. I'm going to use 1 and 2 over here. <clears throat> what should I multiply by? How about negative 2? Okay, so we have 3x plus 4y plus 2z equals 13.35. Then we have negative 10x minus 4y minus 6z is equal to negative, negative 39. Okay, add them up. We eliminate the y's and we get negative 7x. Minus 4z equals negative 25.65. Okay, and now I'm going to take equations 2 and 3, and I'm going to do, again, I need to eliminate the y's. So if I just multiply by that same negative 2, actually, I have the negative 4y. That would work out nicely. So I have negative 10x minus 4y minus 6z equals negative 39. And then rewrite that third equation as it was. Add them up and we get negative 11x minus 5z equals negative 38.70. Okay, so now I'm going to take these two and try and eliminate, um, let's eliminate the z's. So we would multiply this guy by 5 and we would multiply this other one by negative 4. And so we would be left with? Oh, this one by 5 will be negative 35x minus 20z is equal to negative 128.25. Multiply the other one by negative 4, and we're left with? 44x plus 20z is equal to 154.80. And so when we add them up, those z's cancel out, and we get? 9x is equal to 26.55. x equals? 2. Okay, if x equals 2.95, let's just use uh, let's use this equation right here. That negative 7x, which is 2.95, minus 4z equals negative 25.65. We end up getting that z is equal to 1.25, and then to get what y equals. Let's just choose um, this top equation right here. So we have 3x plus 4y plus 2z, which is 1.25, is equal to 13.35. And we end up getting that z y is equal to 0.50. And when we get our final answers, we better put them as costs. So it says, what is the cost of each item? So the cost of pizzas is $2.95. The cost of breadsticks is $0.50. Cents. And the cost of the drinks is $1.25. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.